Welcome dear students. Let's continue with the solving of differential equation of variable separable type. Right, so till now we have covered five problems as you all know. Now this is my sixth problem from the same topic. Okay, now here you see equation contains log dy by dx. But I want only dy by dx, isn't it? So for that what am I going to do is I'm going to use I'm going to use the exponential form of the logarithm. Now what is the meaning of this? For that, let me uh, explain you using this. Suppose we have a to the power b equals to c. Let's assume we have this one. Now if I apply log on both sides, this b comes front, okay? And I'm taking base to be a, okay? So you get log c to the base a here. Now all of you know the value of this is one. So basically from here, what did you observe? From here you see, you observe that b is equals to log c to the base a, okay? So uh, if we have got this, the exponential form of this is known as, uh, the exponential form of this will be equals to this much. And if this is given to you, its logarithmic form is given by this much, okay? Now just observe here. So if you see here, now we don't have any base written here, but uh, you have to take the base to be E. You have to remember that, okay? Now here, E plays the role of A, C plays the role of dy by dx, okay? And B plays the role of this entire thing, okay? So that's why I can write this as, okay? I can write this as, see here carefully, B, okay? So A to the power B equals to C. And what is C here? I told you he plays the role of A. So that's why C is equals to C is equals to A to the power B, right? And what is A here? A is E. So it becomes E to the power B and B is this entire thing. So we have this much here. Okay, I'm sorry, C here represents dy by dx. So let me write dy by dx out here. So we have dy by dx is equals to this much okay so now your work is easy isn't it so what you have to do here is you have to separate the variables so you can write this as e to the power ax into e to the power by so bring x out here bring b out here so you get e to the power minus b y dy is equals to e to the power ax dx now just integrate both sides okay integrating both sides so let's see how much do we get right so we have e to the power minus b y dy is equals to integral e to the power ax dx now all of you know integral uh, integral of e to the power mx dx is dx is 1 by m e to the power mx so if i use this formula then from here you get okay so in place of m here we have minus b so that's why you get minus 1 by b e to the power minus by is equals to 1 by a e to the power ax. Okay. You can write this constant of integration out here. Okay. So from here or you don't write it here. So you write constant of integration out here. So bring this out there. Okay. So when you bring it out there, what do you get? You get 1 by a e to the power ax plus when it goes over there it becomes plus 1 by b e to the power minus by is equals to c so this will be your solution for this particular problem so you may pause the video and note down your solution let's have another question now this time will i be able to you know uh, separate the variables even if you apply x uh, x minus y whole square to be uh, x square minus 2xy plus y square then also you won't be able to separate the variables so in such case what you need to do is you have to do the substitution now what kind of substitution is needed please uh, watch this question very carefully because in the next problem also you will be applying the same technique okay so let me take this x minus y to be equals to you can take this to be z or t whatever you want to so let me take this to be z okay now differentiate both sides with respect to x now derivative of x 
with respect to x will be 1 minus differentiate y with respect to x you get dy by dx right and if you differentiate z with respect to x you get dz by dx okay now call this as equation number one so from here what is dy by dx because we have dy by dx here so dy by dx will be equals to see here carefully it will be 1 minus dz by dx okay so therefore 1 becomes so let's see what happens to equation 1 okay in place of dy by dx i'm going to write this and in place of x minus y i'm going to write z so you get z squared x minus y is z so z is squared dy by dx is 1 minus dz by dx is equals to a square okay let's open the bracket now so z square minus z square dz by dx that's what you are going to get isn't it is equal to we have a square okay now what am i going to do is i'll bring this out here and bring it here okay so if you do that you get z square minus a square is equal to z square dz by dx okay now keep z here and bring x here okay so if you do that i need to take this entire thing to the denominator okay so you get dx is equals to z square by z square minus a square dz that's what you get isn't it kindly check once again dx comes here so this entire thing goes to the denominator now let me use another color so you will write just below this okay right so we have from here we have dx is equals to now here what am i going to do is in the numerator i'll write z square minus a square plus a square by z square minus a square see this technique you have understood or rather you have learned from integration i suppose okay so from here we have dx is equals to so we'll keep this thing together so you get z square minus a square z square minus a square dz plus you have a square left right so write this as a square into dz by z square minus a square can you do that obviously right you can do that now what am i going to do is i'll integrate both side now okay now we are ready for integration so integrating both sides let's see what do we get if we integrate both side so here you get integral dx is equals to so by the way this and this gets cancelled so only dz is left so integral dz plus a, is a square is a constant so write it outside so you get dz by z square minus a square isn't it now see here carefully very very carefully in fact so here integral dx is x all of you know this is equals to integral dz is z right plus a square now integral now if you observe this you have got a direct formula for this isn't it it says it will be equals to 1 by 2a log x minus a by x plus a where we have in place of x we have z so that's why it becomes z minus a by z plus a isn't it so this is the formula for this particular integral okay now we'll put a constant of integration also okay so let's put a constant of integration now you can cancel the things for example this and this and also we will resubstitute the value of z which is x minus y okay so let's do that also so we have equals to x equals to now z what is z z is x minus y plus we get from here a by 2 okay log now z is all of you know it is x minus y we have minus a divided by z is x minus y and we have plus a out here and we have a constant of integration okay so you see x and x also gets cancelled so bring this y out here so if you bring this y here 
then your solution okay becomes this minus y comes here and becomes plus y so this becomes a by 2 log x minus y minus a divided by x minus y plus a with a constant of integration so this is the general solution okay you need to write this also okay so this is the general solution okay so pause the video and note down your solution let's see another question similar kind of question is there okay so in this case also i'm sure you won't be able to separate x and y so in this case also we'll be doing the substitution right so we have let x plus y is equals to t okay so here you know it becomes so one because you need to differentiate both sides with respect to x so derivative of x with respect to x becomes one derivative of y with respect to x becomes dy by dx right okay so only we wrote z here no so let's write z only so it becomes here dz by dx okay now if you call this as equation one so therefore one becomes let's see what it becomes okay so we get dy by dx is one plus dy by i'm sorry from here dy by dx that's what i need to write right yes or no okay so one more step you you will write here so from here dy by dx dy by dx will be dz by dx it goes over one goes over here and becomes minus one so here i need to write just wait a minute okay so i need to write in place of dy by dx i'll write dz by dx minus one is equal to so you have sine x plus y is given to be z okay so bring this one over here so you get dz by dx is equals to one plus sine z so bring this entire thing out here okay and take this x over there so you get dz by 1 plus sine z is equals to dx okay now integrating both side because now we are ready to integrate so integrating both side you get integral dz by 1 plus sine z is equal to integral dx now be careful now have you done this kind of uh, sum earlier obviously yes you have done now in such kind of question what you need to do is you have to do some substitution and what is that substitution okay so let me call this to be equation number two for now okay now have you done this kind of integral earlier yes definitely you have done this kind of integral okay now in such kind of integral what you used to do is see I assume that you know the process if you don't know the process then you have to go back to the revision or the chapter of integration and learn again okay now in such kind of you know uh, integral what you need to do is you have to take uh, you know uh, rule says take tan what is the variable out here we have variable is z so take tan z by 2 to be some variable so let me take this to be theta okay so then what will i do is i'll differentiate both sides so from here you get d theta is equals to so you have tan so what is the differentiation of tan it is sec square theta and in place of theta we have z by 2 into as per general we need to differentiate z by 2 also so 1 by 2 is a constant so we will differentiate z you get dz okay now bring this two out here so you get two d theta is equals to sec square z by two can i write this as one plus tan square z by two can i do that obviously so we have dz here now see here tan theta is i'm sorry tan z by two is theta so that means tan square z by two will be theta square isn't it so that's why here we have two d theta is equals to one plus theta square dz so that means from here what will be dz dz will be bring this out here so you get this much so this will be the value of dz 
okay so now we will substitute its value okay so also one more thing we have sine z also isn't it now see here you must be knowing one formula so i'll just note down the formula here uh, so there's a formula from your you know uh, your class 11 which said that sine 2 theta can be written as 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta okay similarly if you look at this you get sine z can be written as so if you make it half because so see we have 2 theta and here we have theta just half right so if you make this half you get 2 tan z by 2 by 1 plus tan square z by 2 isn't it right which is nothing but which is 2 tan z by 2 is theta so it becomes 2 theta by 1 plus theta square isn't it so that's what we have the value of sine z okay so therefore 2 becomes so let's see what it becomes all right so we have integral now in place of dz dz i'll be writing 2 d theta by 1 plus theta square okay divided by we have 1 plus sine z now what is sine z sine z is 2 theta by 1 plus theta square is equals to now all of you know integral dx is just x now put a constant of integration okay now if you simplify this you get 2 d theta by 1 plus theta square and in the denominator so when you simplify you get 1 plus theta square i'm sorry just wait a minute 1 plus theta square into 1 is 1 plus theta square plus you have 2 theta divided by you have 1 plus theta squared in the denominator this is equals to you have x plus c okay now uh, so what I, what I can do here is I can cancel this denominators you know so I can cancel this denominators okay now I don't have space here for now you may pause the video and note down your solution till here okay then now let's have a look at this so this 2 you know so this 2 can be taken outside because this is a common so a constant so take 2 outside so you have d theta in the numerator and in the denominator you have 1 plus theta square plus 2 theta so can i write this as theta plus 1 whole square obviously right so we have x plus c in the right hand side again uh, you can do the substitution for example we'll take theta plus 1 equals to u okay so from here you get d theta equals to du simple so this becomes this becomes 2 in place of d theta we will write du we'll write du divided by theta plus 1 is u so it becomes u square is x plus c okay so we have 2 integral u to the power minus 2 du is x plus c so now I am approaching towards my solution it is u to the power minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 is equals to x plus c okay so minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 okay into this is u to the power minus 1 which is 1 by u is equals to x plus c now we substitute the value of u u is theta plus 1 okay so we have uh, so from here we have minus 2 by u u is theta plus 1 is equals to x plus c so theta is how much now theta is given to be tan z by 2 so let me remove this also so we have all right so we have from here as i said this is minus 2 by theta is given to be tan okay let me write one in front plus we have theta theta is tan z by 2 is equals to we have x plus c now what is z actually z is nothing but x plus y isn't it so that's why your final answer will be minus 2 by 1 plus tan in place of x let me write 
and z let me write x plus y so you get x plus y divided by 2 is equals to x plus c so this is the required general solution of the given differential integral differential equation all right so you may pause the video and note down your solution let's have another question so this question is also a similar question so all of you know i'll do the substitution let x plus y equals to z so from here i need not explain much but from here you get dy by dx is equals to dz by dx minus 1 okay so therefore uh, if you call this as 1 this equation 1 becomes 1 becomes so let's see what it becomes so in place of dy by dx we'll write dz by dx minus 1 is equals to this sine t plus this becomes cos t so bring this one out here so you get dz by dx is equals to 1 plus sine t plus cos t now obviously i'll be able to separate the variable uh, i'm sorry why am i writing t here no it should be z no okay so it will be z not the t it is z okay it is z okay so bring this z here so you get dz by 1 plus sin z plus cos z okay bring this dx out here so you get dx okay now integrating both side integrating both sides now all of you know you get integral dz by 1 plus sin z plus cos z is equals to integral dx and call this to be equation number 2 now again the rule is same whatever rule we applied in the earlier problem rule is same okay so you have to take you have to take theta equals to tan z by 2 so from here from the earlier problem you know you got dz equals to 2 d theta by 1 plus theta square that's what you'll get okay you know you have sine z also no so sine z becomes 2 theta by 1 plus theta square you know this also okay and what about cos z then cos z is going to be okay so you know cos 2 theta is 1 minus tan square theta whole divided by 1 plus tan square theta so it becomes 1 minus z square uh, theta square by 1 plus theta square that's what you are going to get okay so i'm not going to show all these things because you have done all these in the integration only okay so therefore your integral okay so therefore it becomes therefore 2 becomes so let's see what it becomes so in place of dz let me write integral we have 2 theta divided by 1 plus theta square divided by we have 1 plus sin z sin z is 2 theta by 1 plus theta square plus cos z cos z is 1 minus theta square by 1 plus theta square is equals to you have integral dx is x and put a constant of integration as well okay so from here you see uh, we have 2 theta divided by it's 2 theta or 2 d theta it's 2 d theta guys okay so it's 2 d theta so you have 2 d theta by 1 plus theta square divided by now find the lcm so if you find the lcm it will be 1 plus theta square okay now what do you get here you get 1 plus theta square okay 1 plus theta square plus is there so you get 2 theta plus you get ultimately 1 minus theta square 1 minus theta square is equals to x plus c now see here carefully you can cancel 1 plus theta square 1 plus theta square this and this also gets cancelled okay so from here see we get in the numerator 2 d theta in the denominator 1 plus 1 is 2 plus you have 2 theta 
2 plus 2 theta. So we have 2 is common. So if you take 2 common, you get 1 plus theta here. Okay. So there's integral sign. So it's equals to x plus c. 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So integral d theta by theta plus 1. How much is that? Now that is equal to. Okay. So let me write it here. So it will be log theta plus 1 integral of this because log theta plus 1 is equals to x plus c put the value of theta okay put the value of theta which is log theta is tan z by 2 plus 1 is equals to we have x plus c and ultimately if you substitute the value z which is x plus y you get log tan x plus y by 2 plus you have 1 is equals to x plus c. So, this is the required general solution. Okay. So, pause the video and note down your solution. Okay. So, here we have a similar question. Uh, so, let me quickly solve it. Okay. So, we have let x minus y equals to, let me take this to be t. Okay. So, earlier we have taken z. So, let me take this to be t here. So, you get d. Okay. So, this becomes 1 minus dy by dx will be equals to dt by dx. So, from here dy by dx will be how much it will be 1 minus dt by dx okay so therefore one okay so if you call this equation one so one becomes so let's see what it becomes so one becomes dy by dx is one minus dt by dx is equals to e to the power x minus y is t x minus y is t and you have plus one so one and one can be cancelled so you have minus dt by dx is equals to e to the power t. So, bring t out here and x over there, you get minus, see here carefully, e to the power minus t dt. When it comes here, you get e to the power minus t dt is equals to dx. Now, integrate both sides. So, integrating both sides. So, you get into minus is uh, take an outside integral sign. So, you get integral minus e to the power minus t dt is equals to integral dx. Now, we have from here minus integral of e to the power minus t will be minus e to the power minus t and integral of uh, dx will be x. Now, put a constant of integration minus into minus is plus. So, you get e to the power minus t and what is t actually? t is x minus y is equals to x plus c. So, if you multiply with minus, you get e to the power y minus x is equals to x plus c to be the general solution. Okay. So, this is how we need to do the sums on variable separable on differential equation. Okay. So, I have done 10 problems and if you practice these many sums, it becomes very easy for you to do other sums as well. Okay. So, for today, we will do only this much. So, with this, we close for the day. Thank you very much.